Sunrise in Cape Town. It's a chilly winter morning in the South African city, and the streets are quiet before the start of the business day. But in this supermarket, work has long since started. The aisles have to be spick and span, and the shelves full for the first customers. This store has just been modernized. Everything is new, from the floors to the freezers. German-born Thomas Knopp oversaw the renovation. He's been living in South Africa for the past 20 years. He's satisfied with the work here, but says the most important improvement is out of sight. The real innovation is that we are running both our refrigeration system on natural gas. We are not running on chemical gas anymore. It's purely gas coming out of nature. The first customers are already waiting when the supermarket stores open at 8 a.m. They're unaware of the eco-friendly upgrade to the frozen food section. They just want top quality produce. These whole sheep carcasses can be no warmer than five degrees Celsius when they arrive. That's the exact temperature in the cool room. The cold chain, as it's known, has to be maintained to guarantee the meat stays fresh. The butcher is hard at work. Mutton, sheep, good meat, good meat, very good. And it's expected to remain so by the time it lands on the plates of the customers. Large-scale refrigeration conceals a battery of sophisticated technology. Thomas Knopp relied on specialist Richard Manning to install the supermarket system. It's the first to use purely natural cooling agents. You can see the product itself. You look, you look at the lithos, rock solid. Mm. Now, a simple little test. You hear, the, you hear that cracking? Mm. Feel that. Just mm. feel that product. Oh, solid hard. Absolutely. The performance is great for one thing, and we're looking, the whole exercise revolves around environmental impact. And if you look at the reduced environmental impact that this plant has, that, that makes it to me very sensational. The heart of the new system is on the roof of the building. Carbon dioxide and ammonia are now used as cooling agents, ensuring that every last fridge in the supermarket stays cold. The CO2 and ammonia are both gases that occur naturally, so using them is practically climate neutral. The store's previous system worked with environmentally harmful synthetic cooling agents. Every year it pumped an estimated 120 tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, most escaping through leakages. With the conventional system, we used to have leakages of up to 30%. Uh, most of the leakages would occur on the piping from the plant room down to your cabinets, but a lot of times we would have cabinets, uh, leakages in the cabinets as such as well. At the moment we are achieving, or we are achieving, a 0% a leakages. With the new system, leaks will hopefully be a thing of the past. Toby Campbell manufactures refrigerators for supermarkets using components from all over the world. They're assembled here in Cape Town each custom-made for every store. But the old cooling agents can't simply be replaced with eco-friendly ones. The new system requires completely new materials. So far, two stores in South Africa have installed them. The pilot projects were partly financed with money from the German aid agency GTZ to demonstrate that green refrigeration does work. Other supermarkets will have to pay for the upgrades themselves, but the manufacturer expects more orders to follow. Very refreshing to see that our customers and other customers are now interested in this technology, where if it weren't for the GTZ's funding, I think we'd still be talking about these things and no one would have ever done anything about it. Now at least it's done, it's there, it's real, it's live, and other people are trying to emulate it and repeat it. By midday, the supermarket car park is filling up rapidly. And so too are the shopping carts. This store might be a trailblazer in green technology, but most customers are hearing about it for the first time. Yeah. 
Our cameras generate an interest in the refitted refrigerators. The natural gas only, not chemical gases anymore, and reducing storage. This was one of the few Wonderful. So, I know about this. I knew that they'd done the revamp, but I didn't know that that's what they've actually done. So it's amazing. It's great to look because I live close by, so it's wonderful. No, that's yeah. great. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Thanks, bye. See you, bye. Environmental awareness can be good for the corporate image, but is it also good for business? Rising energy prices in South Africa provide another argument for adopting newer, more efficient technologies. The crucial part, obviously, is, is, is a cost saving in energy usage. And uh, with this system, we've got the advantage that we, we've got proven figures that we are saving 25% of electricity usage. And that could convince other supermarkets to follow suit. But for Richard Manning, there's an even better reason. I have grandchildren, <laughs> and we have to consider their future. Yeah. That's just a personal way to put it. <laughs> yeah, it's the best way. Environmentally friendly refrigeration systems, a step towards combating global warming, and not just in Cape Town.